My name is uh, Mariusz Szałek. I am from Poland. Mm -hmm. I am the, the captain of the, the biggest sailing ship on the world, the biggest sailing square rigger on the world, the Golden Horizon. When and where did you first hear about getting the position of master on the ship? On this ship, I, I, I was, um, I was um, uh, let's say, uh, asked to, to, to come uh, in the, um, uh, June uh, this year. Where were you when you got the news? At home, yeah. <laughs> as all as all seafarers on these days, and we are just at home. What were your first thoughts about uh, commanding such a, you know, such a huge ship? Well, as um, the, I was previously working with um, all the biggest sailing ship on the world, so it is uh, nothing, let, uh, let's say, new for me. It's just stand-up job, but uh, yes, it, it was really surprise and I was really, really happy to hear this. When and where did you first manage to step aboard the ship? Oh, that was in Split, in, uh, in June. So what was your first reaction about walking round her decks for the first time? You see, the sailing ship, uh, big sailing ship like this one, they are um, similar. There's not uh, so big difference between them. You have the rigs, you have the usually nice thick deck, and, and what is interesting for you as a captain, uh, you have maneuverability, uh, amount of the sail, how they operating, and that is most important. Okay. I found it very, very, uh, very efficient here, very good system. So from a, a maritime point of view and a technical point of view, she is, uh, what, is she a, a square rigger, a bark, or what would you? It's square rigger, first of all, sailing square rigger and the bark. Bark with five masted barks, which is the and with the 6,400 square meters of the sail. So, how easy is it to set the sails and how long does it take? Well, the setting the sails uh, generally is very, very uh, easy on this ship, on this kind of ship, because generally the, um, each of the yards is equipped with the, with the hydraulic engine which is on the side of the yards. And, uh, and the sail is on the roller. So to set the sail, it needs the one sail, let's say it needs around five to six, seven minutes, which is, gives you, one sail is around 200 square meters. Mm -hmm. If you will put on each mast, the group of uh, three people, you can set all the sails in 20 minutes. What do you like most about the ship? First of all, because this is a sailing ship. It's something, something what I was doing all my, I was dreaming all my life. I was doing all my life. So it's, this is this is what, what really brings me here. What do you most enjoy about interacting with your and meeting your sailing clients? Well, the guests always uh, welcome to, to be with us on the bridge or to come during maneuvering to see how the ship is working. Most of our guests are uh, sailors, so people who want to sail and uh, they never have a chance to, to experience the, the big sailing ship. It's it also is very convenient for them to be with us. They can still sail and, and have this, this comfort of uh, day, daily living with the nice restaurant and the cabins and so on. Have there been any particularly challenging journeys at all yet? Or uh, So far we just start this big journey for this mm. ship, so I hope we will go to the nice places and the warm climates and we will use more sails. Uh, actually in this moment we are in English Channel, so there is not so much space for this size of the ship. It's very nice and good for the small boat, like you can see around us. But uh, for us, it's quite uh, limited space. You can count as very challenging yeah. <laughs> area, I would say. Well, the Trade Wind is um, the new company, which yeah. is uh, trying to, to ent is entering, not trying, is entering to the market um, very nicely. This kind of ship um, is something uh, what we need to see the beautiful vessel like that under the full sail. You will never believe, you will, few times you will 
still watch if it's true, if <laughs> this, is, this is really shit. I have a lot of situation when the when the passing vessel they are asking, are you really sailing? How is the really true sailing ship? <laughs> so they don't believe that we have steel. Especially on this water, there's not so popular for the you know big sailing ship. It's 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 the uh, the era of the you know the sailing ship as a cargo ship. So they, they, it's gone. So it's uh, now you can see only this beauty as a passenger or as a training vessel. And you are you're training people, I understand, as you as you sail. You are actually helping to train people, is that right? We teaching them new skills. Well we have we have always um, uh, experienced people on board. But on those days of course we have to uh, employ some people who are maybe not so experienced but they have to be experienced. So we are training him on board. They're always coming on the lower position and uh, start to learning the, the sails, start to raining. So after two, three contracts, maybe they will have a chance to, to, to do something with the sails. But it takes the time. It's, it's the process. Learning process takes the time. So where, where has been so, some memorable places that you've been, not on this ship, but, but in your with the sailing, different sailing, your sailing Oh yes, the best, the, best, uh, the best places for sailing, generally, if you if you want to see the nature, it's South Pacific Islands. That's, that's the really place to go with the sailing ship. And of course the Caribbean, the Caribbean uh, always they have a good winds and uh, you can really use the sail to go from island to island without any problem. And uh, Mediterranean, Mediterranean is very nice area for sailing as well, but more from historical point of view, you can, you can visit the places which are really important from the historic point. And, uh, and for the sailing as well, it's, it's nice around the islands, the big islands like Sicily, Sardinia, Corsica. You have, you have places that you can really use the, the, the sails and the wind because they always some wind over there. Is there any place in the world you would like to take the ship? You know, you well, if I will have a chance in the future, I run the Cape Horn. <laughs> that will be the that will be the place and challenge and to really go with this kind of ship in this area. That will be something great to do. Commanding this ship, what sort of feeling does it give you? You know, when you think, well, I'm actually mm. commanding this ship. Well, I mean, a, first of all, I'm proud. You know, proud to be there the man who is commanding the biggest ever built sailing ship on the world. This is something what, uh, what you feel you know, in the bonds. Okay. Yes. And when you feel her under the sails, when they start everything, it's like a little bit, you know, vibrating. That is something else. That's the great feeling. From you. a personal point of view, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you're married, have you got a family back at home? And, yes. and, and uh, you know, you when, yes. when was the last time you saw them? <laughs> oh yes, the, two months ago. I'm, I mean, before I joined the ship, I was uh, staying at home mm. because of pandemic. Everything was stopped. Today, it, with this communication, what we have, you have every day, every minute, you have contact with the family. This is not 30 years ago when I started career when was no communication at all. Have you got any of uh, your family members that want to follow in? Oh, Captain's yes. footsteps. <laughs> yes, my son. My son, he, he was already, in, uh, he is an uh, officer, a navigation officer, and he is going through the industry. And, uh, well, that will be his choice, really, if he wants to go on the sailing ship or stay off the any other ships, you know, going around the world. And how long has it taken you to get to this stage? Oh, well, I will say like this. My first contact with the sailing ship on this size, well, not this size, but let's say training um, sailing ship was in 1985. So from 1985, I progressed with the knowledge, with the skills, till this moment, the top of the, <laughs> of the hill, <laughs> the top of the mountain. So now I am here and I am very, very glad to be here. This is, this is uh, the dream, yeah. which comes true. Yeah. It, it shows you that you're, you're obviously very proud of, of, of sailing the ship, being in command of the ship, and just enjoying the atmosphere of, of being at sea under sail. Yes, it's, it's, it's something what's... what's you see, 
if you like what you do, there's no reason to be, you know, to be sad, though. This is, this is really, you cannot call even this job, you know, because there's a pleasure, pleasure to doing things what you love. And uh, thank you, Captain Mariusz.